had one of the things that were, were growing up there is that there was a lot of, um, as there is everywhere, a lot of sports. And a lot of, there was um, the start of little league type of things. And there was a lot of, uh, uh, there was a good track there uh, at Columbia High School. Uh, junior highs had, had that sort of thing. And so, but in particular, basketball seemed to be the sport of, of the day. Mm -hmm. And there were these two brothers. Uh, Norris was, um, I think, my age, and C.W. was a couple years behind. And they both played basketball, and they were both extremely good at it. And so, in spite of the fact that they were black, they were, um, they were the head of the, uh, they were the ones that, that sat next to the, to the queen at, uh, at the homecoming or whatever it was. These two guys were uh, very well uh, thought of. Uh, I, I also didn't know them. I ran into CW several times when I would go and visit mother after I got out of high school. I lived just down the street, but I never, I don't know what happened to them. Uh, part of my experience is, is I left and hardly ever looked back. Uh, so yeah. I uh, uh, just have not had, had not stayed in that close connection with, with uh, the kids of the day. Well, you know, as I said when we opened, we were, we were the Cole High, we're Columbia High School, we're the, uh, we are the, uh, uh, the bombers, and uh, painted on the floor, that, in that circle, in the jump circle, there was a mushroom cloud, and uh, I, I never adjusted to that, even then, thought it was really a terrible thing, and then what they would do is they would at halftime, they would bring out a bomb about this high, uh, a literal, you know, a, 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 a bomb that had been, the guts had been taken out of it. And on the top of that bomb, you know, it, the bomb sat with its spin, with its points down, and uh, the nose of the bomb up, and it had a rod sticking up out of the top of this thing. And on the top of that, when I first got there, it was a, B, a B-29 which was, of course, the bomber that was used to drop the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And, uh, and then, and then uh, by the time I graduated, uh, the B-52s were uh, up and running and coming out, and so they replaced that with a B-52. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one time that I did go back, uh, 2000, uh, there was all of a sudden I got a notice of some sort of a, a, a large uh, uh, a reunion that they were having, an all-school reunion or something. And I went back uh, for a couple of days of that and, uh, uh, and talked about that. that and they said, oh yeah, it's, it's still painted on the floor. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't get into the gym to see it, but <laughs> it's still painted on the floor. <laughs> the other thing about that is that they had, everything had to, you know, the, the displays in town, like, like the bowling alley was the atomic lanes with a, with a big mushroom cloud someplace, and atomic this and atomic that, and I, I just, you know, in spite of the fact that, uh, you know, that, uh, that that's what the Hanford was about, it just seemed to me sort of on the war side instead of on the peace side issues.